I mean, I, I suppose the design of, of the, the wheel arches with the flares, that does kind of help protect the, the tires and wheels, but wow. I mean, I didn't think it would be this effective. Here we go, look at this. Woo! Gang burrito! Oh my god! No! Okay, you saw that, right? I almost did that clean. You jump, your stars were like gray, but then when you, when you got off the jump, your stars were white again. No, I, I I actually didn't catch that. I didn't. I I thought that stunt jumps didn't gray out your stars um, unless you were able to break line of sight from a grind unit or an air unit in the process. Okay, yeah, no, the, the stars were grayed out for a while though. Really? All right. Well, here I I will need to find another so. stunt jump and try it. I could be wrong, but I mean, yeah, no, like right now they're grayed out. Well, yeah, that well that that's because I I, I broke line of sight with the choppers. So I I I'm, I have a really high top oh. speed. That, that okay, wasn't because of the sun jump. I didn't realize that. Oh! Oh, that's actually a really hard turn, and this thing fucking handled it like a beast! Wow, that was actually impressive. Oh, Let's go. Let's go. That's right, GTA 4. You're, you're my bitch. When I drive a gang burrito, you are my bitch. It's just, it's just the way it goes. You know what? You know what's funny? Is I, think, I think the gang burrito is the channeling... The uh, inner forklift? The, the See, it, it feels more like forklift though, because I mean, the forklift—you don't expect it to be good, much less OP. And then, like <laughs> this fucking thing. Got time for another fun test? Just can it handle this section? Of course it can. Of course it can. It's the gang burrito. I mean, like, is that even a question? I mean, come on. This is, no, this thing's actually really fun. I, I am thoroughly enjoying this. And of course, because the GTA Wiki, it tends to be fucking retarded with these things. I bet it's going to say, the game Rio is a poor choice of vehicle for get for getaways and anything involving hard driving. I'll be like, yeah, okay. I I, I have done like maybe five, six for getaways. And I know this thing's good. Oh, here we go. Here, here's, another, here's another thing. Well... Come on, hop. Yes! There we go! I, I knew it would hop it eventually. That, that, that one's a little tricky. It's one of those really... The, the approach angle was really steep. The Dep departure wasn't too bad, though. We're gonna cut through here. Because I'm a gang burrito and I'm overpowered. Literally. Despite having an anemic engine, yeah, of course. Here we go! That's right, suck up my dick, GTA 4. I make you my bitch. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna, it just on two wheels there. <laughs> Let's go. Well, yeah, yeah, or the, the, the extra backup That's lights, cool. yeah. <laughs> This thing is unbelievable. This thing is great. This is no. This is this is making a very good case for itself. So, I'm assuming you've read the performance section on the Tampa for GTA 4. You will see how distorted and how like obvious bullshit it is. No, actually, I will look at that now, though. Yeah, Gangrio is poor steering acceleration. Oh, so that's why I'm able to set good average speeds to these sections. Oh, yes, because it's how poorly this vehicle drives. Fuck you, GT Wiki. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You you do not give vehicles a chance that deserve it, but then you will willingly suck off vehicles that are really not that good. Now, okay, fine. The Tampa, it's a better choice than say an Oracle, or then over a Romero as well. But I would absolutely take a Gang Burrito over a Tampa any day of the week for six star getaway duties. It's not even a fair comparison. How is this uh, poor acceleration, by the way? I'm just speed shifting. Like, that's not hard to do. If the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit. Yeah. Well, no, primarily because even though, you know, especially the third and fourth gen fire burning Camaros are identical mechanically, you could not put a rear tail like panel from a Trans Am on a Camaro because it would not fit. It was not designed to fit. 
Well, the, I imagine the doors are... Well, I don't actually, I don't know if the doors are different, but I know they, they don't share anywhere near no, as many parts as... They don't share as many parts as people think they do. No. No, they're like, well, it's the same car underneath, right? Yeah. Well, it's just good panels and stuff. And the only thing that fits between a Camaro and a Firebird is, like, in terms of body panels, is maybe oh the Oh, my... Fuck. Look at all this shit over here. Wow. You're still on six stars. And they set them for like half a second. I thought. Well, I, I had them grayed out for a little bit there. Yeah, no. I I, I ended up losing the tire, so I, I, just, I, just, I just repaired it and restarted. That's fine. I, I do that with any vehicle. Oh, okay. Did you get up to the chopper again? I think okay, yeah, no, I, I broke line of sight with a chopper. I, I, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna keep going this way though. Okay, because your stars are blacked out again. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I know when I'm graying them out. I've, I've, I've done this enough times to know that. Okay, so I'm just letting you know because like you're like, what the fuck, Dave? You totally grayed out my stars and reset me, like. I, I just have a feeling when it happens, I, I, it's happened enough times where I can, I can just see the stars pulse in the top right corner with my peripheral vision. That's when you know you've no life this game enough. Wow, that was really easy, by the way. Oh, they spawned a chopper there, though. Oh, boy. Eat shit. Mm-hmm, that's where we're going. Right over here. Eat shit, GTA 4. The game Rito's performance is poor. Oh, so that's how I was able to do a six-star getaway another one in less than, like, four minutes. Okay!